what is happening you guys it's your boy Dob coming at you with a new video and today we're going to talk about Final Fantasy 16 the 16th entry to the Final Fantasy series and it is coming out in less than six months this year in fact 2023 at June 22nd and you know that your boy is so excited and anticipation is at an all-time high for me I am a fan of Final Fantasy if you guys know me you guys know how hardcore I am for Final Fantasy Fantasy why I've played every single one of them in terms of mainline series. It is arguably my most favorite video game series of all time. Next to some series, obviously. My genre of choice, and if you guys haven't noticed this already, or just by observing all of my Monster Hunter speedruns, is action RPGs. Games like Monster Hunter and Kingdom Hearts are typically games I enjoy the most. Action based leveling up and grinding is my forte. And once I found out that Final Fantasy was the same thing, I was ecstatic. And you know, your boy's gonna be all over that in a bag of chips. I'm excited for it, and ironically, it comes out just around my birthday. So it's almost like it's almost like it was meant to be. Today, I'm going to dive into the top 10 things I'm expecting from the 16th entry and I'm really trying not get so high in my expectations but these are just things that I personally hope will be interwoven so that way I can enjoy the game more. I hope more than anything however I hope that this game goes above and beyond my expectations as with most of the entries in Final Fantasy have done in the past and I hope 16 does the same thing. Anyway let's get into it. Number 10 Hoping that the game is not a hundred plus hour game. As a grown man with a plan and responsibilities, and let's be honest, any other dadgum games coming out this year alone, because you guys know 2023 is stacked. So many freaking games, it's not even funny. Listen, ain't nobody got time to play no dadgum hundred plus hour game nowadays. Come on, you guys. You know what I'm saying? There's so many other games. No, not another one. No, no, no. I only say this solely through my first playthrough of the game. Just the first playthrough. Of everything else, the hook and why I invest those 100 plus hours over time is the replayability of the game. Games like Monster Hunter, for example, are games I've poured thousands upon thousands of hours because of that idea. And I hope I get that same vibe for this game. This game feels like a Final Fantasy meant for me and an older audience, and it should be digestible as such, right? It's like a good hip hop album, right? You know, short in length, but the quality is good enough to keep playing that guy over and over and over and over and over again. It's a great feeling. It's a good feeling. That's a good album. It's short. It's digestible. You can replay that sucker. Optionals are great and there's nothing wrong with them. This goes for lore and story building. That's great. And that should be just like extras. But for me, replay value is everything. At least to me anyway. Number nine. How will they pull off the mature themes and its dark fantasy? Will this be like a berserk or an attack on titan levels of dark fantasy? You shall see, right? The kind of stuff that goes straight off the gate with the dark themes like berserk, for example, right? Establishing its tone from within the first few pages of the manga. Final Fantasy to me appears to be like a pretty looking dark fantasy. And I'm curious how it's all going to unfold. I'm reminded of games like um, Drakengard. I remember its dark tones and I really loved it actually. So I wonder how this game will handle that kind of theme. Final Fantasy Type-0 also had a dark theme and it was handled well there too, so we'll see. I think it's great that we get an official mainline Final Fantasy with an M rating. It's funny because most of the best games of all time have it too. We'll see. Number 8, it's leveling progression. How balanced will its level integration be right off the gate? Will I be able to break the game early and be an OP icon warrior blaze through it like easy you know i'm not gonna be mad at that honestly i'm just saying you know i am curious though on how it'll all play out at the end of the day will it have the basic level up progression like the final fantasies of old or will it have a customizable leveling system like ff10s or maybe like final fantasy 13s or remake i hope that it'll be as simple as like six or seven but have like advanced outputs and layering that can be optimized through experimentation since there is like a job system i believe in final fantasy 16 and it's incorporated with its icons and its integration i hope that it infuses some of the aesthetics 
from Final Fantasy V with its job leveling system. So that's awesome. If it's like five, hey, I'm game, let's do it. Number seven, it's music. You must have a solid OST. Uh, the, the composer for Final Fantasy XIV, from what I understand, has done a great job with 14, especially with the remixes of the classic themes. 15 was also good too. And so with every Final Fantasy, if I have a solid five tracks from this OST, then I'm set. Almost every Final Fantasy has five or six solid tracks. Super hyped for it and I hope that the music is amazing great overall just amazing music throughout number six the world setting okay so we're in the world of Velestia in the midst of war it seems and so I want to kind of you know get into that vibe and atmosphere of those times and experience those through Clive's eyes you know now we have these bigger and batter crystals right huge monumental crystals all throughout Velistia. they all seem like midgars of sorts but without sucking the planet's energy right supplying each of the continents of Velistia with their energies and the plausible consequences of its use as the dominance and the magic bearers suffer from them be petrified from what i understand it's all intriguing to me all of this seems like a larger conflict is happening and there is this war that almost has to be fought right this path of fiery war it seems i'm looking forward to that i can't wait to also embellish in its lore as well in the lore only for to enrich the world right the world setting with life and history. I want to know the origins of the crystals and how this time it could be harbingers of darkness instead of light, right? Where does the blight truly come from? You know, those are questions that I'm, I'm wanting answers from. We'll just have to wait and see. I can't wait. Going back to the medieval setting is exciting to me. It worked for 14, so I'm keen and excited to see how dark and magical it is. Number five, the characters. I love character development if you know me you know how much i love it like how squall starts off as an emo edgelord and then turns into a great leader and a better person recognizing the presence and being happy like how cloud with his identity crisis recognizes that he is accepted as he is and not what he isn't even the brat kid from chronicles of narnia starting off like an idiot and a brat but grows into a likable and redeeming character that is what i love right there ladies and gentlemen whatever the case i hope that final fantasy 16 has that same mantra how do these characters develop in this setting of war and how do each of the dominants specifically are affected by clive's actions those are things that i would love to explore and find out it's exciting number four design it is a medieval setting and it looks on point the visual effects are always going to blow me away in any final fantasy i can't wait to experience this and its visuals music and its sound design the main character's designs is excellent the akihiko Ivalice vibe going with it. The art direction so far is spectacular. With its latest trailer, the visuals, music, and sound design just ooze. Ooze with just so much cool. And I also like how the design this time aren't the focal point. And what I mean by that is from what I understand what the developers are doing this time around is the characters personalities that are the most important it's their motives and their goals that establish the designs i think of suikoden for example where the designs are not as flashy and i'm specifically talking about one and two but just are enough to establish its characters it doesn't over design or gets so flashy that it loses its potency in the story with all these things however that final fantasy logo you know that logo probably the best looking final fantasy title so far i kid you not mono destroyed that so good so good i love it number three clive i want to know this guy's path for revenge i'm looking forward to going full force engaging on this path 
of revenge and me feeling his rage with all this fire that's happening with him as he exacts his revenge. I want to see also the shift from teen to adult, how he grows as a character. Also how he can be like a stain user that's able to use multiple stands all at once, in this case icons, all right, at will. Now that I'm pondering about this right now, I wonder if he is probably one of the most powerful beings in all of Final Fantasy. It'd be a possibility, right? He's my favorite designed protagonist character in a long, long time in a Final Fantasy. Number two is the gameplay. Okay, so with the gameplay, I want to know how layered this combat system is because from what I understand this is taking DMC approaches in design, action, movement of which I am all for in a bag of chips. I want some flashy cool sequences, combos of launching the opponent in the air and doing daggum 500 hit combos. I'm all for that. I am ready for that. My body is ready for that. I am looking forward to the combat system. I am very intrigued into understanding how easy it is with the button inputs. From what I understand, the developers wanted the commands to be more of button inputs. Holding down L2 and R2 and having them as hotkeys. All of that is exciting to me and I can't wait to just experience that. Also with its gameplay, I'm actually glad that it's not open world. I think one of the developers uh, mentioned that making it an open world would actually exceed the development time further. So I say no because we already have too many open world games already. We don't need more open world games, okay? I like games to be linear, Ocarina of Time kind of linear. Those are my things for gameplay. Now, number one is its story. The most important thing that I'm looking forward to in Final Fantasy 16 is in fact its story. The summons are now center stage this time in a Final Fantasy series. I don't recall when the summons were actually the central main plot points of any Final Fantasy game so far. And I like that. I really like that. I love how huge the summons are this time around. I've been a big fan of how they look like in Final Fantasy 15 and so for them to take center stage in this game is amazing. They should be what catapults the conflict of this world and more than anything just like I said before with Clive I just want to know how his story envelops how he connects with Joshua Joshua and Clive both brothers I want to know what happened there are still things that we still need to figure out a, a, any Final Fantasy game always has a good story it's the stories of the Final Fantasy games that last For without the story there would be no Final Fantasy and so does this story have to be the best story ever told? Absolutely not. Hell, a good revenge story, right? Like a Count of Monte Cristo kind of vibe, which is probably one of the best examples of revenge that I could think of. It doesn't have to be full of lore. It doesn't have to be world expanding, expanding every other thing outside of the story. It just needs to tell the story. I am kind of bummed that they don't have downloadable content planned for it. I want the story to be short. Just like I said before with the hip hop album, I want it to be digestible and enough to where I can consume and play again. That's all I want. I just want something short. You don't have to tell me the most magnificent story. Just tell me a good story. And so with that, guys, that's it. That's my top 10 things that I'm looking forward to for Final Fantasy 16. It's getting dark outside, obviously, but what are your things that you're looking forward to for Final Fantasy 16. I'm excited and I can't wait for Final Fantasy 16 goodness. Keep it locked here. Like, sub, all that jazz. Much love to my Patreons. Much love to you guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Knew I could be my only Just to see life at Clarence Wolf's howling at the moon You like to seek with weapon Don't you dare come near me Get the strength to